Ashley here. Thanks for tuning into the channel. And today I am working on my push mower. It's a Craftsman. It's a 2000 or 2001, I should say. And over the winter, the fuel line started leaking. It has a bunch of cracks. It's weathered pretty bad. So I'm replacing the fuel line today on it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, sharpen the lawnmower blades. So if you like this video, smash that thumbs up. And thanks for watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off this air filter. Use a regular common head or straight screwdriver. Take this off. Woo. About time to get one of those. But we'll just knock that out and clean it here in a few minutes. And it looks like we got a couple more bolts here that I need to remove so I can get to that fuel line. All right, so I just went and got a 5 16 screwdriver to get this out. So as you can see, here's the uh, little bulb here to get the, the fuel primed. And so I just got, it uh, looks like probably two lines, yeah. I'll go ahead and replace that. Came off pretty easy. But it, it's got a clamp here, and then it's got a clamp right up in here, same type of clamp. I'll just remove that using some pliers. It's pretty simple. You just grab your pliers and clamp it just like this and move it down the line right there. Then just remove it from here. The old one. I'm not too worried about messing it up. Let's clamp down a little bit more. Yeah, it's pretty weathered pretty bad. As you can see, it's pretty cracked up. So we're just going to take it, measure it, then I'm just going to cut, cut the length. You just use a razor uh, to cut it. Just a regular, inexpensive razor. And be sure to put your clamps on before you go and hook it up. And just to make it a little bigger, all you do is squeeze it. And there you go. Okay, so I got this clamp on, went ahead and cut this piece to this, to the length of this, right here. So before I put this one on, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I'll do that with each one. Right there. Let me find this. Go ahead and push this on. Then connect it up here to the little 
I guess what would be a carburetor. Move this out of the way a bit. That's right where my fingers are. All right, now that that's all goes snug, you just take your pliers here, loosen that, and run it right along there. Do that for both sides, both ends. So as you can see, I got it right here and right here. And this little piece came off here and attached to that right there. So it'll just slide right back on there. That'll slide right in there. And then we'll just start putting our screws back in. We'll just get this started. Get everything lined up. All right, kind of got this cleaned out a little bit, just knocked it on the cement. We'll just go ahead and put this cover back on right here. Put this in like that, and then close her up. Yeah, this blade has uh, got some nicks in it. I think I'll take it off and see if I can clean it up a little bit and clean this deck up. We haven't used it yet this uh, this spring, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this removed. All right, let's get this removed. It's always good to use some gloves when you're doing this. Just get you a screwdriver, stick it in there, get you a three eighths or a nine sixteenths, and just take it off. Yeah, you can see it's pretty good little nicks in here. Probably won't be able to do much with the grinder, but we'll see what we can do.
All right, let's go ahead and take care of this grass that was left on over winter. Yes, I know you shouldn't be leaving it on over the winter. It'll cause your deck to, to rust out, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. All right, and I just tore my leather glove. You can see it even just tore down through the leather, just not even at the seam. Tell you what, it's hard to find just good leather gloves nowadays that'll last a while. It's all a bunch of crap. Just thin. I mean, might as well have been tearing a chamois or something. This is horrible. And it's the uh, Plainsman, I don't know, Plainsman leather gloves. They're just horrible. So I have this here, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this down a little bit with some lithium grease. Tighten it on, get a little tighter before I put that screwdriver in there. Like I said, you can see the alignment pins right here. Pretty simple task. And just tighten it down. That's good. And then put a little bit more in there. All right, so let's go ahead and put some fuel in here. Don't fill it all the way up because you don't want to waste all that gas if it continues to leak. Let's see. That's not going to help trying to see if there's a leak. That'll be enough. Not seeing anything. We'll take a closer look. Okay. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything underneath right there. Nothing in the carburetor area. Nothing. So we'll just go ahead and put this on. And we'll go ahead and start it up. Pump this a couple times. have it I changed the uh, fuel line on the craftsman push mower here probably took less than five minutes um, also sharpened the blades balanced it a little bit I didn't show that on camera just used the nail on the side of the uh, the table and it balanced off pretty good and filed it um, and then started it back up it's working good it's ready for another season if you enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up and comment below thank you